Water does not push fire. And I got to talk a lot about this yesterday, and we're going to talk really quick here. I don't care what you call it. Doesn't matter. As I travel around, I keep adding to this list, because no matter where I present, they all have a different term for it. I like softening the target because that military, military analogy, although I'm not a fan of most of them, makes sense to me. They're not going to attack a town without softening the target first. They're not going to go strength to strength with an enemy. They're going to weaken that enemy from a distance and move in on that enemy on their terms that gives them the upper, level, upper hand. We can do the same thing with our fire attack. Here's water in a window during the Governor's Island experiments. We've got fire that started in the middle room. We open the kitchen, the fire spreads into the kitchen. We put 180 gallons a minute with a smooth bore off the ceiling. We've also done this with straight streams. It's not only smooth bores, the problem was we couldn't find a combination nozzle in New York City, so we used smooth bores. tight stream off the ceiling, steam is still able to come back out of that low pressure exactly where it wants to go. Don't whip that smooth bore around, otherwise you will not allow that steam to come out. You're not going to push it in, but it wants to come out. The heat wants to come out, so let it come out. This is what those temperatures look like. These two rooms on fire, we even cooled the back room where we thought we might push some heat. When there's no flow path, you can't push it against a higher pressure. It wants to go to the low pressure. 